Hey there guys and welcome back. We got a Nilf guard deck today, which is not spies, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> I've been waiting and waiting to make this one. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But this I've been waiting because like spies is all you could play with Nilf guard. There was no reason to run anything else. Like you tried to run reveal at the beginning of the patch and then realized, oh, still sucks, because yeah, the cards aren't that great for reveal. But this one's not too bad, actually, and it's something new. I haven't done a Nilfgaard deck in, like, forever because all there is is spies. Like, if you see Nilfgaard, you know it's most likely spies. Some people try to run Mill, but Mill doesn't really work out that well unless you fight the right deck, and then it's just an insta-win. So let's get into this. This one, we got an Imperial Golem. Whenever you reveal a card in your opponent's hand, play this unit from your deck. One copy per card revealed. This is going to trigger with your Cynthia, giving her a little bit more tempo, because you can get a pretty high-powered Cynthia, and that's also going to pull out your Golem, which is nice. He was also running a Darling and Foot Soldier? Yeah, Darling and Foot Soldier in here too, just one, but I kept... There's not many ways to reveal it. Like, if you set it up so that way your last two cards are Nilf Guardian Knight and Darling and Foot Soldier, you could do that, or if you revealed it with Leo... Then you're missing out on a lot of damage because you could just reveal the Guardian or something. So I ended up replacing that with a Vivo, Viv Kavaro Medic. But that's pretty much the only change I've made. Then we got three Nausicaa Brigades. Damage is spying unit by seven. If it was destroyed, strength and self by four. Um, he's a 12 power play. If you hit something that's not even like that, he can't kill. Like as long as you hit something that's eight or higher. He's a 12 power, and if you actually kill it, like do 7 damage, and they have 7 health, and you kill him, then he's a 16 power silver. I mean, bronze, he might as well be a silver as 16 power. Uh, so that's not too bad. He's also a soldier, so he fits well, and he goes really well with the infiltrator. Then we got 3 black infiltry arbalists. Deploy damage an enemy by 3. If you have any soldiers in your hand, damage it by 5 instead. Well, we have plenty of soldiers in here. Like, this whole deck is like soldiers. So, you should definitely have a soldier in your hand to make him an 11 power bronze, which isn't too bad. 11 power is like what you want to expect out of a bronze for right now, till the next patch at least. But, I mean, doing actual damage is usually a good thing too, because you can sort of use that to your advantage and kill off something annoying. By doing that 5 damage. And we got the Nilf Guardian Standard Bear. Whenever you play a soldier from your hand, boost an ally by 2. Deploy, boost an ally by 2. This guy can net you lots and lots of value over time. I mean, the more you play soldiers, the longer he stays out, the better. Kind of sucks if they muzzle it away or something, but... They're, you're not running into that many decks with that much hate. Like, yeah, they can do some damage to it, but you can usually keep them boosted up, and then even if they do end up killing these things off, like if you're facing Northern Realms machines or something where they just keep pumping out damage, then these things just become damage soakers, basically, because you get two of these out, and you start playing soldiers, it's going to soak up four of the damage that they're sending at you anyway. So they're still pretty good, and yeah, they fit really well with soldiers. And we got three Infiltrators, Toggle Unit, Spying Token. Uh, best thing you can do is toggle a unit that has 7 power into a spying token so you can hit it with the Nausicaa Brigade and make that a 16 power bronze. I mean, overall, it's um, a 25 power, so I guess technically it's like having two 12.5 power bronzes, which is still really good. So, Infiltrator's nice. Then we got Nilf Guardian Knight. Gain 2 armor, reveal a random card from your hand. This is the card he was running to run, uh, trigger the Darling and Foot Soldier, I think. <laughs> but he's also a soldier, so it fits nice. Because I just, it's too unreliant to trigger this thing, I thought. Unless I am doing was doing something wrong, I didn't like it. But he reveals a random card in your hand, so that's alright. It doesn't matter if they see a random card in your hand. They probably know some of what you're running. And he's an 11 power bronze with 2 armor. Not too bad. Then we got Cynthia, reveal the highest unit in your opponent's hand and boost self by its power. Great opening play. When you play Cynthia, you're probably going to hit their highest power unit. If they have a disloyal unit, it's usually 11 or 12 power, and that puts her up to 17 power silver. 
and then it drags out your Imperial Golem, which ends up bringing her up to 20 power. 19, 20 power if you hit that disloyal unit, which seems to always, I always seem to always, like, if I don't run a disloyal unit, I don't see a Cynthia. But if I run a disloyal unit to my starting hand, they'll play Cynthia every time. But still, she can now use some good value. Then we got Peter Sargwenleave. Zar Reset a unit. If it's an ally, strengthen it by three. If it's an enemy, weaken it by three. Um, Great for killing off Neckers. I mean, if you run into that random consume deck, but consume's not the biggest thing right now, you can still use it to reset plenty of things because they got... There's so many boosting cards in the meta right now, and they get boosted up pretty high, so you reset them, weaken them by three. You're doing a chunk of damage there. Then we got the Guardian... Create two lesser guardians on top of your opponent's deck. I'm not running Vilgforts or Tibber to abuse this mechanic, but it's still a nice card to reveal with Leo. I mean, I might end up taking out Royal Decree for Vilgforts because that is having that ability to be able to just kill something on your opponent and give him a golem instead is nice. Or Tibber, get 25 power, give him a golem. So he's technically a 19 power gold. Still pretty nice, but I mean it kind of messes with their mulligan and stuff and can be really annoying. So Guardian's pretty good. Then we got Carher. If playing as Nilfgaard, trigger your leader's deployability. Well, yeah, we're playing as Nilfgaard. I think he's doomed too, like, isn't he? Like, yeah, doomed stubborn. So I don't even know why he has that effect of if playing as Nilfgaard, because it's not like your opponent can steal it or anything. Um... Then we got, yeah, John Kavalt's our leader. Look at top three cards from your deck and play one. Pretty good card. Uh, this is kind of cool because you're not running a mirror, which every Nilfgaard deck pretty much runs a mirror. And then this guy, yeah, you he basically, you look at top three cards, you pick the perfect one, and you get four power on top of it. So really good tempo play. And then he does the same thing. He's basically just another John Kavalt because he's four power too. And we got Leo Bonhart. You may reveal a unit in your hand and damage an enemy by its base power. Yeah, we have a couple 11 powers in here. We have three 11 power cards. So he can end up being an 18 power gold and kill off something that's really bothering you. I mean, this thing has a lot of damage hate, so it's really good for that. Then we got Menno. Deploy damage enemy by four. If it's spying, destroy it. Well, we got three infiltrators, so you infiltrate or something, you can just kill it with Menno. Takes care of that. Or, of course, your Cantarella. You throw your Cantarella over, you get your card advantage, you play Menno, you kill your Cantarella. So, Menno's really good. Then, yeah, I put in a Kavaro Medic. Resurrect a bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard. I mean, there's usually always a bronze unit that's worth taking. Something in there is worth taking usually in their bronze slots unless you're facing Spell El Tail, I guess Because Spell El Tail wouldn't really have a bronze unit that you'd want to take like what are you gonna do with a sage and elf mercenary or protector? But I have not ran into Spell El Tail in a while So besides that there's usually always something worth taking Then we have Venomer Spawn Biting Frost, Clear Skies or Overdose Clear skies if you're getting bombarded by that weather, of course, and then overdose, it makes it a 15 power silver. Pretty good. It's nice having that backup 15 power silver along with a way to clear weather. Then we got Royal Decree. Play a gold card from your deck. If it is a unit, but not an agent or double agent, boost by two. Shuffle others back. So thin out anything you need at the moment. You need a Leo, grab him. You need a Meadow, grab him. You need a car her for some reason over a Leo or Meno grab him. <laughs> so, Royal Decree, really good. Then we got Jaham de Wit. Play the top loyal bronze or silver unit from your deck and boost it by 10. Yeah, this, you, anything you grab at any moment is pretty much going to be good. Because, I mean, even if it grabs you a Nausicaa Brigade, then you can just hit this with a Nausicaa Brigade, and your Nausicaa Brigade's going to become 10... 19 power play, making this a 19 power silver in the end. Not too bad. Then we got Cantarella. Look at the top card from your deck, draw it, or place it at the bottom of your deck, then draw and draw the top new card. Have to make an educated guess if it's worth it to throw it back or not. 11 power, pretty good. Pretty good to slow unit, and 11 power makes sense on this one. 
So, that's about it for the deck profile. We'll get a couple games. We'll play it out. And have some fun with Nilf card finally, because I don't like playing spies. I got bored of them. So, <laughs> we'll get into this one and I'll see you guys there. Alright, game one, Francesca. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard! Hambuff? Or super speedy tempo mage? Hmm. Well, Peter would be nice. Do we got Peter? No. We got an infiltrator, brigade, car, her. That's nice. Guess I'll throw back an arbalist for now. Golem, don't want him. Let the dawn begin. No guardian knight? Please don't hurt me. Okay, Leo. <laughs> oh, wow. We got double mulligan cards. Must be a mulligan deck. I'll probably just start off with a Cynthia. You should be. Oh, he's going with far seers, so he's probably running. Can I just kill that far seer off? You don't have a Peter or anything. And I could kill it off right now. I'll do as you yeah, we'll just kill it off. I think he's going with hand buff. We'll overkill it with the guy that we're going to be playing him in it anyway. See if he has another one. Oh, there's his disloyal unit. Okay. <laughs> well, I could probably just pass him right here. 21 points. Let's see. It'd be 15. I have to play two more cards. Or should I just try 2 and 0 him? Be 15. Let's say he has an Igni or something. I don't know. We're gonna go safety. Safety dance. Play that guy out. He's probably gonna pass now. That was a good time to play just a little unit. Because it was right on the brink of where I'm not sure I can make you go two cards down. Humans are not oh, looks like he's going to play off his lock unit. Well, let's try not to spend important stuff. We'll go with Arbalist. Do 5 damage to that. Okay, Mahog Mail. Okay, let's... <laughs> Infiltrator this and hope the next one doesn't hit the right one. Please hit the other three power. Oh, Sage. Come on. Yes! Okay, good. Let's go with Nazik Brigade. And we'll pass. Everything all right. Will he have another one? Kind of afraid he has another one. I'm gonna play out one of these guys. Kind of would have liked to play it earlier, but I didn't really want to dedicate this round, but now he's keeping it close enough. Might just drop my Cynthia next. We do what must oh, he's actually gonna mulligan a card. Not sure what I'm going against now, like I thought it might be hand buff, but let's play mock males, sages. Alright, let's see if you grab some really high power card or something. For the Emperor! Nope. Movement 2, so is he running Marigold? 
Is this some movement Marigold's deck? Death to old one. I think that's what I'm going against. If he moves that third. Okay, that was odd. Maybe it's not movement Marigold's. How many points ahead are we? 22? You'd have to go two cards down and take the round, right? He plays Igni, that's 19. No way Mary pulls to give him 22 power. Mock, Mail, and Sage is not giving him 22 power. Okay, we'll pass. If he has some way to magically pull off 22 power. Kinda weird that he locked my golem though. Considering he's running mulligan, he usually has a way to deal with that. Oh, he isn't gonna have to go two cards down, alright. And he used up his distal unit. Mandrake. Planning on reviving that somehow? No, he can't revive it. Alright, one round one. Two cards down, that's fine with me because I got some really good cards. He depends on what if yeah, if he dry passes us, I'm just gonna play black arbalist. And we'll keep this because we got our dislocal unit. Yep. Um. Play him and pass. Then we'll use our Cantarella. Double final say. Should be able to pull off something really good with that. Royal Decree, that gives me my Menno. We'll keep it. I'm gonna play my Cantarella first because. Oh, if this grabs me Peter, though. Hopefully Cantarella grabs me Peter. That's what would be really nice. Infiltrator. I guess I'll take it. Why have you summoned me? Alright, he's going with Fog, so he's running the movement. Hmm. Guessing some sort of Marigold's movement deck. We'll go with John. There's Peter. So he is going to be in my top three cards. Infiltrator, not really necessary right now. I guess I'll do Arbalist. Just to set up for if I get that other card. I have an infiltrator, so I can like I can grab Meadow with anything high that he plays. Alright. A skull. Well, good thing he played that right then, because <laughs> he's playing this guy. And I'm glad you didn't escal him. There's Mog Mail. Well, Infiltrator is a skull. Give him a boost. I don't see us losing this. Yeah, he's gonna muzzle that, okay. Mmm. Or what was my top one? Peter. Peter's my top one. So I should probably car her first. Grab a medic. And we'll take his 14 power weather clear. That sounds good to me. 
<laughs> Move. There's a guy up there. We have a Jaham Day Wit and a Menno. There's no way. Yeah, we got it. Pajum Day Wit over, grab Peter. Reset his Eskel. There we go. Oh, we took that game. We still had our meadow. So, that worked out really well. Beat. Movement weather. I think that was a Marigold's Mulligan deck that I've seen a couple times now. I don't know. It's kind of weird mixing Mulligan and Marigold's together. I think you should just run Ethne so we can double Marigold's and count more on the movement. But, that's game one, guys. We'll get in the next one now, and I'll see you guys there. Fight for game it. two, hence Salt. I shall not well, repeat a mere's mistake. Machine spam. This this will be a good test. I've not been able to face Northern Realm Sensel yet. And we have ways to kill off his machines, but he has ways to kill off our Nif Guardian Stamped Bears. Peter. Reset and weaken. I guess there's like one card that I can hit with that that would be good. Medic. That's not going to be good till later. We'll throw the medic back. Infiltrator, alright. I need some... Nazca Brigade. I got like one of everything. E go back, Infiltrator. Carher. We have Royal Decree. So we'll throw Carher back. No Guardian Knight. Okay, that's what we got. It's open for the Golem. I might just drop his Peter on his... Well... That's odd. <laughs> I mean, we can deal with that in multiple ways. Yeah, we'll just deal with it with a Leo. Where's my Nilf Guardian Knight? There we go. So obviously he doesn't have high power units in his hand. For the Play Cynthia. I think he runs Avalok the Sage. I pass on every tenth round. He's gonna start spamming those things out. I guess you just infiltrator it. Mm, but I need to get this guy going. Need to get this guy going. Who's about to take a bunch of damage and just die off? But he might tank some of the damage for us. See how much. Well, oh, so oh, that looks like an Igni to me. He plays Igni. He gets 31 power. Yeah, so we could pass this with an Igni. I have a way to mess with that. No. I'm gonna play Infiltrator. And boost this guy up so he can't get off the double Igni. Alert! To arms! Muzzle. Are these guys soldiers? <laughs> if he muzzled them beforehand, oh my god, he could have gotten, like, crazy boost. Well, I mean, I'm killing that off, because he can actually use that. He's going for the Hensel. You want peace? Fight for it. I don't think that's going to be enough. For him to catch up to us. Yeah, he obviously has an Igni. I'm an officer on a gentleman. Well, that's gonna be his next play as Igni. Yeah.
We'll hope for a Nilf Garden Standard Bear with a car. Thank you. Not letting you pull off the easy Igni. Peter is not going to be helpful like at all. I'm trying to kill these things off. Gee, you can do a good job at. Oh, the black infantry. Kill one of them off. Boost. He's gonna play another one of those. He's gonna do two damage. I should probably just boost this guy up again, even though it puts him more in more Igni range. Makes him have to do more damage. Because now he could have just lined that up to a 13 and put it into Igni range. Now he can't. So. Could Peter here? I mean, Peter's not going to be very helpful to me. Besides, in something like this, resetting this one power just. unit. Strengthening me. Johnny? Well, he is going all in. There we go, he set those up again. We know we can get out another Nilf Garden Brigade again. Because <laughs> he really wants to Igni that thing. Let's play John Kilvet. Bring out our standard bear. Nope. You're getting a 20 point Igni, that's it. I have a lot to say, alright. Drop him. At last. I don't think our meno is going to get us much value besides like a 7 power. Well, now's a good time to drop Verenimer. Tell me what get an you overdose. Thought. Nice to hit good targets. Now even if he pulls off a 20 point Igni, I'm still 8 points ahead. And I can keep myself out of Igni range later, so he has to pretty much use it this round. Hey, look at that. There's something to infiltrator in Benno. No door is close to me. Let's boost this guy. He drops his Igni, I'm dropping my meadow. <laughs> Still be five points ahead with the. Nope, he gave up. Alright. Took round one. We can drive past him round two. Unless I get my disloyal unit. One, two. Ooh. Dome de Wit, nice. We'll throw the Nilf Garden Knight back for now. Cantarella. We'll take it. Like Cantarella. And. We'll take Nilf Garden Knight. For me, Bilberry's honor! There's a random bit of small marsh. Maybe I should just hold on to Joe Day Wet for like my final play. And we'll go with Meadow for now. Alright. I always find a Infiltrator. Make that spine unit 
Another one of those. Show him that he can't just pass us because we have this guy. And now we'll pass. Because this is a great card for the final round. And he has to go first, so he might be able to damage us with one of his machines. Nausicaa Brigade, nice. I'm gonna keep it just because then I have an answer to draw him, they what? Reinforcements. Yep, nothing for that to hit. Play Joan de Witt. Oh, looks like we're resurrecting something. Well, that's not the greatest. This would give me 10, this would give me 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the rest of this is pretty crappy. So, yeah, we'll just resurrect our standard bear. Probably shouldn't have put that there just in case it's Commander's Horn. Oh. Well, that doesn't matter as much. Scorch is fine. Let's play the Nausicaa Brigade and take game two against Hensel. Hensel Machine Spam. Yeah! Alright. Cool. That went well. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Definitely. I was wondering about Hensel Machine Spam, but it worked out really well. I mean, even with our Peter not being the greatest against them. Kind of weird that he dropped his Volinum Rith right away, but I mean, we'd have an answer for that whenever he dropped it, so that didn't really matter. But that's game two. Getting the last one now, and I'll see you guys there. Alright, game power. three. Consume. I forgive you. Hmm. This time. Well, let's hope we get a Peter. <laughs> or something. Like, I can sort of deal with some of the Snackers, but... Wow, Royal Decree and all my gold. I guess we'll throw back our Nazca Brigade, that's pretty good. I'm debating on actually holding on to these. No, I'll throw one back. I, need, I want Nilfgaard and Stinger Bear, that's what I was just going to ask for. And... Not bad. Not bad at all. Second Nazca Brigade, I'll throw that back. Peter, thank you. Now we Not hope bad. that he doesn't have... Not bad at all. Not bad, not bad at all. I like it. Oh, he's running the she ghoul thing. Okay. So this is the deck that I did yesterday. Oh, he has Operator. That's why I was saying I hope he doesn't have Operator. <laughs> well, I know exactly what this deck runs, so... Hmm. Be the best way to deal with this. Probably wait until the Unseen Elders take round one. Maybe 2 and 0 him. 2 and 0 him would probably be pretty good. When he starts eating with his Rain Warrior, I can Peter that. I throw my Cantarell over. Get some more card advantage that way. Right, he's trying to boost up his Neckers. Don't want to throw this over until he plays his Vran Warrior. So I guess I'll just go with an Infiltrator for now. Of course, if I drop out of 7 power, he's going to play a Vran Warrior right there. I'll just stall. Play a Necker. Keeps me ahead. There we go, that's what I was waiting for, to see what he did with that thing. Well, first I have to make it a disloyal unit. If not by strength, then by stealth. And we'll boost this guy up. I okay, he's gonna turn off the spying status, that's fine. Because I'm planning on using Peter anyway. <laughs> That gets rid of his summoning circle, which is Let nice. Nausicaa Brigade? Nah, let's try for something else. 
Did I really just say no and then it gave me a Nazuka Brigade anyway? That's funny. He's going Gales. Into... Rackus Bahamoth. Oh, I don't have an 11 power to reveal anymore to deal with that. Ugh. Let's Royal Decree, grab out Carher, and maybe get like an Infiltrator. Yeah, an Infiltrator. No door is closed to me. I can make this disloyal. Why didn't that trigger my... Oh, from your hand. He's going Unseen Elder right away. He's not even... Necker warrior -ing. That is odd. Damn it. Don't like the look of this. I mean, I'm fine with that. The fact that that's at 8, though, <laughs> is kind of annoying. Um. His Neckers aren't really going to be a problem now. I mean, I gotta wait for him to eat one more thing before I can Nausicaa Brigade his... Aragas Bahamoth. He has two Neckers in his hand right now. Is he really going... Okay, he's going Shigul. What the heck did he... Why did he do that on that row? That's odd. Alright. Clear Nausicaa Brigade, kill that off. Give him his boost, boost this up, put us back in the lead. Okay, his Neckers are up to 10 power. I could Peter one of them, he'd still have one more. There's no spying units. I'm just drop my junk of it. I don't know. This thing isn't looking too good now. Medic? I wish I could put these cards down and like look at his graveyard to see if Medic would be a good option. I'm gonna need Joe Humday Whip. Of course, Joel and DeWitt would give me... Standard Bear. Alright, there's the pass. So now we can might be able to and all. He is... Three Neckers, one in his hand, two in his deck. No, one in his deck, one in his hand, one on the field. Alright. He didn't really play anything worth medicking. Throw that back. No spying units, this is the problem. I could just get that frost out there for now. Like, usually they want to bleed you out anyway, but I don't have much of a choice with this type of deck. Kind of got a really wonky hand for the last round. Like Cynthia, 8 power. Oh, we can't even do the 8 damage now. No! Damn it. Because he already revealed it. Oh, man. Go with Arbalist. 
he has one more Necker in his deck, I was going to be able to deal with that. There's a Slizzard, Rain Warrior. Eat your Necker, please. Okay, that's fine. Because if I pass him right now, he has two Neckers. I'll do as you ask. See if he dedicates. See if he dedicates to this. Might just meno off his Necker. It's gonna give me. Okay, so there, there we go. He has no more Neckers left. Now that you played Griffin. Did you really cancel that? How did you cancel that? Oh man. It must be a May. You may do this. We're gonna play Meadow. Bring out his last Necker. Wow, he has both of them in his hand. That's funny. Oh, this Peter is gonna be great. We're gonna beat him. We're gonna beat him. We're gonna play this guy. Okay, there's his Necker. Play Peter. Reset and weaken that. Here you go. Play out your second Necker. We got gotcha. you. Not bad. Thank you. Because the second Necker was a 15. Which meant that we would have tied that round, and I would have, well, he should have just taken his round win, because we would have tied that round at least. Nice! We beat Consume, too. That's pretty good. I mean, granted, he didn't get Varan Warriors. I mean, not Varan Warriors, Necker Warriors. But I would play that totally different if he was actually playing out his Necker Warriors. That's what I was sort of expecting him to do. Nice. Well, that's, that's a game three, guys. Things turned out really well. <laughs> so we'll take that. I mean, for a Nilf Guardian deck that hasn't seen play and is like not not spies, that's great. <laughs> I'm happy with it because at least it's playable. Because usually it's like, okay, play spies or die. Because Nilf Guard has nothing else. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a good one.